Okay, I realize I'm about a week late to this one, but here is probably the most unremarkable gaming device announcement of the year. I swear, an observation I have made about Sega is that they will do one little nostalgic thing that's pretty popular and then they will learn all the wrong lessons from it and repeat based on what they've learned. Case in point, recently Sega released the Sega Mega Drive Mini, a new mini replica of the original Sega Mega Drive, which came with 40 games and sold at a regular retail price of approximately $80. Now while these games are mostly readily available on Steam or through emulators given their age, I understand that the Sega Mega Drive Mini is a means of kind of recapturing the feel of the original Sega Mega Drive, and is a collector's item at that, making for a great gift for fans of retro gaming. And there's a lot of understandable novelty to that, and with that it went on to be quite a successful product. So celebrating the 30th anniversary of the Sega Game Gear, Sega once again made the announcement of a new miniaturized version of their famous handheld console. But wait a minute, the Sega Game Gear was already a handheld, so it was already pretty miniature. So here we have the Sega Game Gear Micro. Now I get it, there's a cute little novelty to Sega making mini versions of some of their most iconic consoles, but I would say the Sega Game Gear certainly doesn't have the same reputation as the Sega Mega Drive. I think it's another instance of Sega kind of overestimating the amount of nostalgia attached to one of their older products. Now I might be wrong here, but I know very few people who have any kind of attachment to the Sega Game Gear in the way that most people have an attachment to say the Sega Mega Drive. The the Sega Mega Drive was Sega's flagship console of its time. It is by far the most iconic one. But let's actually talk about the product of the Sega Game Gear Micro itself. The Sega Game Gear Micro is about 40% of the size of the original Sega Game Gear, boasting a compact 1.15 inch display with a resolution of 240 by 180 pixels. This time it comes with four inbuilt games. The Sega Game Gear Micro is available for pre-order for approximately $50 regular retail price. It is also available in a range of different colors so you can kind of get a more personal feel for it. So here's my overall thoughts. It's a cute little accessory. I do like the idea of having a little miniature version of a previous Sega console, but $50 for this? For starters, you can't see shit on a 1.15 inch screen. Sure, it's playable if you look close, but like, this isn't just a case of, oh, it's a cute Diddy version. This is gonna be actively inconvenient. Like, literally a downgrade from the original in just about every single aspect. As well as that, the selection of games on there. Just, really? Just four games? So the classic black Game Gear Micro model comes with Sonic the Hedgehog 1, Puyo Puyo 2, Outrun, and Royal Stone. That's it, just those four games. However, notice I mentioned only the black model, because there are actually 16 games available for the Sega Game Gear Micro. On the blue variant, you get Sonic Chaos, Gunstar Heroes, Sylvan Tail, and Baku Baku Animal. On the yellow version, you get Shining Force, Gaiden, Ensei, Jashin, Nukunihi. Do forgive me if I've butchered the pronunciation of that. Shining Force, the Sword of Hadja. Shining Force Gaiden Final Conflict, and Nazapuyo Aruru Noru. God, Japanese audience members, please really do forgive me. And finally, the red version comes with Revelations the Demon Slayer, Megami Tensei Gaiden Last Bible Special, the GG Shinobi, and Columns. So if you want all 16 of the Game Gear games to offer on the Sega Game Gear Micro, you have to be prepared to buy all four variants of the Sega Game Gear Micro at $50 a pop. So $250 will buy you four games consoles you can barely see and 16 super old and barely even collectible games, which you can run incredibly easily on the Kega Fusion emulator on a big screen. Well, they, they found a way to make it worth your dosh. They found a way to get me to fork out for sure, because if you buy all four, you even get a magnifying glass for the Sega Game Gear Micro. You cannot make this shit up. But like for $50, I would expect way more games to be playable on this little console than that. Now I know that Sega is quite aware of the quality of some of their oldest games, which is why they really do push them a little bit and sell them at a fairly decent price tag, especially when it comes to the Mega Drive, but I certainly wouldn't push for the same from the Game Gear. A lot of those games haven't necessarily aged brilliantly, they are just old. 
considering most of the people that care about them will have already bought them back in the day, I honestly wouldn't blame anyone for just recapturing their youth on an emulator and playing it on a much bigger screen than they ever did when they were younger. I just think if Sega are going to push a $50 price tag on something that's so easily emulated, there should definitely be a lot more to make it worth the price tag. Four super old handheld games for $40 is just lame. Pair that up with a one inch screen and that's just double lame. The bottom line, the Sega Game Gear Micro is just fucking lame. If Sega want to do cute little accessory versions of their old consoles, I thoroughly suggest they lower that price tag or offer some more bang for the buck. And especially don't try and make it a collect them all kind of situation when you're offering so little for the money. I'm sorry, but like if you're trying to fight the whole emulators business, making four consoles to collect that are extremely overpriced that you can barely see shit on is not and I repeat, not the way to go. Poor show, Sega. This is, I'm sorry, but this is just a fucking con for people who have too much money and not enough to do. This is the level of shit that's just gonna actively encourage piracy. Just release the goddamn Game Gear games as downloadables for PCs and the current games consoles and just stop embarrassing yourselves. This is legitimately one of the most transparently money-hungry things I have ever seen in my entire life. Jesus Christ, Sega. What the hell were they thinking? The good news is I just direct debited $48 from your bank account. Which means you get to watch this video all over again, and we know it's such a classic you'll want to do that, on a one inch screen. Enjoy! Okay, I realize I'm about a week late to this one, but here is probably the most unremarkable gaming device announcement of the year. Uh-oh, stinky, you're not subscribed to my patron so you don't get to watch the whole thing. But never mind. What do you think, guys? Comment below and discuss, and as always, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more like it, why don't you head over to channelpup.net, where you can visit our blog page, Dr. Blogtopus, but you can also buy merch, such as the official Channel Pup replica hoodie. And I mean, if you insist here, guys, maybe hit subscribe, maybe hit the like button. And in the description below are the links to my social media handles, including the Patreon, where your contribution can help me run this channel and really keep it alive. That aside, I am really grateful that you checked out this video today. Today. Thank you so much for watching fellow home dog. See you on another video